welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm tiffany and this is cash locks in life and today we are closing out my month of february and checking my sinking funds so if that's something you want to see then let's get it. how is everyone on this wonderful march 1st <laughs> wednesday march 1st I hope you guys are having a great day whenever you're watching this video. Um, so today I want to see where I am. So for me, tracking my sinking funds monthly helps me out, you know, to reach my savings goals and actually to stay motivated. Like this is one of the most motivating things I can do for myself outside of savings challenges. I am one of those people who like instant gratification almost. And so Although this, although this isn't instant gratification, it's close to it. <laughs> so anyway, let us get started. This is, I guess, my high priority sinking funds. And I gotta get this set up so where the light isn't too bad. I know that light is, is bothersome, but okay. So for birthdays, we started the month with zero and we have $40. Car maintenance, we started with $80. Right now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. So that's an addition of $60. Okay. Christmas, we started the month with $80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we added $20 here. And you know, I as I've been going through this month, like you say, your budget to me, or my budget, let's just be more personal. My budget is changing, ever changing. My priorities are changing. Or me just realizing what's really important to me and what's not. Um, in clothing, I started with 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I added $50. Um, and I realized that I don't have to stuff all of my envelopes every time I get a major paycheck. Like I need to focus on where I want to concentrate that money. And so for March, that is my goal to really figure out where the money goes and not just make an effort to stuff every last envelope just because they're there. So in household, I started the month with 50 and I have 10 is a receipt for $51. Okay, I spent money on, uh oh, so we're gonna, mine is 40 and we have 10. I had to get cleaning supplies and paper, um, towels and things like that. Medical, we started the month with $40 and I had 20, 40, 60. So I added 20. Like I said, I don't plan on spending uh, medical because I have that FSA card. So if the end of the year gets here and there's money left in here, I may reallocate it or I may just keep it as a medical fund for emergencies. So in travel, my starting balance was 300. And right now I have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 50. So I added 250 to this envelope. And my goal for my travel is a lot higher because we have trips planned. So I am putting more into this fund. One month ahead, I started the month with $90. And I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So I added $100 and I have 190. One month ahead, I really need to get more aggressive with this envelope in March because I'm trying to get one month ahead. So I may change the way I, I um, put money into this envelope. But that is it for my high priority sinking funds. Next, I have my, um, these are my long-term savings. Um, they are to me, their high priority, but not really. They're um, 
very important to me, but they're going to take me longer to get to where I want to go. So first, we're going to start with Amaya Savings. And we started the month with $240. Right now we have $150, $170, $190, $210, $230, $250, $270, $290, $310, dollars Okay. So $320. Is that $80? Let's see, $320 minus $240. Yes, an addition of $80. Okay, and for college, we started the month with $40. And I have $20. Why do I only have $20? Oh, okay. So this was part of that fund minus $20. Um, initially, I had ended a savings challenge and tried to stuff all of these envelopes, but I took it back and ended up putting it all in my emergency fund. So that's why I only have 20 here. Okay. Debt, I started the month with $60. And right now in debt, I have 20, 40, 5, 50. So 10. Okay. Do y'all think setting a goal for each envelope works better or just pretty much saving? Let me know what y'all think. Um, for emergency, now I didn't count this um, in this category last month. It was part of my savings challenges. So this amount will change and then I have a new number for emergency. So right now in my emergency fund, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 40, 50. So 550. So uh -oh. deposits 550. So this is not just one month saving. This is just move, um, a category that was changed from last month. So no ma'am, I did not save 540 in one month. Oh, I wish, I wish. 550. Okay, so next in home, we started the month with $60. And right now we have 40. And this was due to that, you know, situation I explained a little earlier. And then in investment, we started the month. Uh-oh, look, I am in the wrong place. This is home. Investment is the same thing. Well, no, I only have 20 here, so... 40 and my balance is 20. Sorry about that, you all. Uh-oh, okay. So that is it for this binder. Next, I have my other <laughs> sinking funds. I guess these are high priority. I added these at the end of the month. So um, date night, we just have $20 in there. So at 20, 20, dining out, 20, 40, 50 and dining out. Okay, and goals, and this is basketball goals, of course. That's ten dollars. And look, my daughter um plus ten. My daughter tried out for track. And of course she made the team. So now I have to <laughs> Oh that's topic for another day. Anyway, <laughs> kids. We have twenty-five. And so it's so funny is because, you know, I let her try out because I'm like, oh, she's not going to make the team. She's not that fast. And that's what I give a doubt my kid. She's not that fast, but she's in the jumping. She's a triple jumper, long jumper person, lady, girl, whatever. <laughs> $10. And so I was like, you know what, Tiffany? You should never doubt the ability of your child. She's awesome. So anyway, school. I have a total of 25 and this is just me saving towards 
school supplies and like uniforms and, and things. My daughter grows so fast. Um, we went to her annual check-in like a few weeks ago and she's 14, right? But she's 5'7". And I'm like, oh gosh, splurge. Plus 20, I wish I was taller. I'm not even gonna say how short I am. I'm like, oh, I wish I had some of that height, but yeah, so she's going through a growth. Well, she went through a growth spurt, and the doctor thinks she may have another one. So we'll see. Giving. Oh, that was already open. Okay. Giving. I started the month with. Well, that was part of. I don't think I tracked this last month for whatever reason. So I have fifteen dollars in giving. I'm just going to put plus fifteen and then fifteen. Okay, and then those are my dollars. I'm not counting that. All right, my next binder is going to be not this one, Tiffany. The Tiffany money, Tiffany's money. All right, and so for Tiffany's cash. I started with $100 and this envelope was actually in my my um, sinking fund high priority binder and I moved it here. So now in Tiffany's cash, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 135, so plus 35. Okay, new envelope for lock. And I think I have $30 in here. So that's $30. I added this binder last week and I love how it feels so sturdy. And I like having the clear in the front. All right, so life, we have $40. Luxury, I added 20. Now this is one of those envelopes that's not that important to me because I don't need anything. This is just a pure want. So I probably won't save that fast here, but I'm still gonna save because I like getting things for myself. And then self-care, I have 20. All right, that is it for Cash locks in life. All right, so savings challenges. I don't have them separate here. I think next month I may put them separate. So I'm just going to add them up as I count them. In my 52 week challenge, I have two, three, five, that's nine. 14, 20, 27, plus 8, plus 9, 44. I may have a little extra. Like, I think I have $10 in this envelope. Um, So, let me add two more dollars. But I'm not going to pull all those out. So, okay. In my savings box. section one which is one hundred dollars and then i started section two this week and i just have 25 okay and in my 26 week challenge i have 5 10 11 12 13 plus 13 500 dollar challenge 100 120 140 160 165 170 okay two thousand dollar challenge 100 20 40 60 80 95 6 7 8 so 198 
$5,000 challenge. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. I don't think I stuffed this one this month, did I? Wait, this, I'm sorry, this was my $5,000 challenge. I skipped my $2,000. Okay. Oh no, that was right. What am I thinking? That's where I am. Okay. Yeah, because that was 198. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm good. All right. Next, I have um, this was in my other envelope. This is my emergency fund. So I'm not going to count that one. 100 envelope challenge. I don't want to pull everything out. So let me just add it here. 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 20 plus 21, 22, 25, 26, 30, 40. 41, 60, 80, 91. I guess I could have put them out so you guys can see I do have the envelopes out. But um, just trust me, okay? <laughs> I'm not going back to pull out money that stuff already. Okay, in my rainy day fund, I have $45. Okay, gifts, I have... $25. I haven't started that challenge. And shut the box. 20, 40, 55, 56. This challenge, I completed it, but it's it's in my emergency fund, so I don't have to count that one. Oh, I really don't want to count my penny challenge. I don't know where I am with this. Um, so I'm not I'm not gonna count this one, but I'll add it into I will add it into next month separately. Because that's gonna take a lot for me to count. And then in Larry Lynn, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. I think that is all. Am I finished? Am I done? Or am I finished? Am I done? Am I finished? All right. So, total in my savings challenges is thirteen seventy three, and so that's an addition of four eighty one. Okay. So I'm going to add up this column and see what my total is. Okay, it says 39.83, but of course I am going to re-add it. Yep, $39.83. So I started the month with 24, I'm sorry, 21.42. So that is an addition of $1,841. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that it's a little less the last month like let's see 2142 minus 1841 so it's $300 less but you know what that's because this was a short month I had five weeks of checks in January you know um so two full paychecks and then two of my side hustle um paychecks and so this month I only have four so that actually makes sense because my side hustle is like three three fifty so you know what? I did really good. I'm super, super excited. And so that means I have $4,000 in cash plus whatever is in my, my penny challenge. So, I mean, how can I be upset about that? So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited with me. Thank you so much for watching. And before I let you go, I do have um, a little bit of happy mail. 
nothing serious, right? I received this um, T and L budget. I found it on Etsy. Oh gosh, hopefully I can open this without. It. Oh, she taped it. Okay, okay, okay. That's very smart. Let's see if I can open it without pulling out any scissors. One moment. Okay, let's go pull out my Exacto knife, which I always end up cutting myself with. to hide my address but thank you so much enjoy your placeholders tnl budgets and she's on etsy if you guys wanted to know but look at those it's rose gold they are so pretty what is this oh oh that looks so cute what is that are so pretty okay little flower sticker and thank you for supporting my small business that's pretty okay so back to the placeholders these are rose gold and i have one of them so badly so these are just 100 dollar bills and then um i have 500 so so beautiful thank you so much um i'm trying to get to a place where i actually need them I might be there, but I'm gonna wait a little longer. I'm stacking up on my um, on my prop money, and I cannot wait to start using them. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.